Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a Snake Lasers Volume 1 tip and trick tutorial video. So Snake Lasers Volume 1 is a sound set I came out with. It's DJ Snake, uh, Major Laser inspired, Serum Massive sound set. And we were doing three different videos. This is the third one, giving you some tips and tricks on how to create music like DJ Snake, Major Laser. So like think like Moon Baton, a little bit trap, a little bit future bass. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do like a DJ Snake now style uh, vocal drop, like with a vocal lead using our serum instruments. It's really easy to do. So we have a little, I have a little drum groove here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an instance of serum and I'm going to pull up the pluck called pluck pipe pluck and I am going to layer in a pluck progression real quick and we're gonna just build out a little drop All right, so there is the little pluck progression. I want to talk about it real quick because if you're trying to get that DJ Snake style sound, you're going to want to use some seventh chords. So if you've been into producing like future bass, this won't be that new to you. But if you've never used seventh chords, ninth chords, eleventh chords, this might be a little bit daunting at first. For instance, this progression here, if I play it with just triads. So this first one here is a E flat add nine. Second chord is an F add 11th, then G minor 7th, and then a D, I don't even know what this one is, it's a, uh, a D minor flat 13. I don't know what that actually means, but it's got a real cool DJ Snake style vibe. Now if I play this with just straight up, Right, that doesn't have the same feeling. If I just played this, this uh, E flat. That doesn't have that DJ Snake vibe. So if you're trying to get that sound, definitely mess around with seventh, ninth, just weird, unique chord voicings. All right, so that sounds cool. All right, I'm gonna add in one more sound here before we get to the vocal lead. It's gonna be a uh, synth sound to kind of accompany that pluck. All right, so that sounds cool. I really dig that. Now we're gonna use um, we're gonna use Serum to drop in a vocal preset here, and I was gonna do Serum VO lead. All right, so Snake Lasers comes with a bunch of voice patches at the end and let me copy this one because this is the one I want to use but I'll run through just a couple of these in case you guys are curious what they sound like if you're trying to do that DJ Snake style sound these are really going to help you out if you're a serum user So there's a bunch of them. I don't want to play a lot. I want to get to playing this uh, melody here and we're going to just dive right into it. So Alright guys, so you get the idea. It's pretty easy to do. 
Um, basically, the key things you want to remember if you're going for DJ Snake is in the drop, there's not a lot of synth action, maybe just some light chords. And we did that with these two presets. And those chords are usually playing like a some ver- some unique voicing, usually like a ninth, seventh chord type variation. And then if you're going for that vocal lead sound, you can do it a bunch of different ways. Uh, I mean, obviously, a Vox, uh, the, the Snake Lasers, if you're enabled in Live Lasers, you can just drag and drop vocal samples in into Sampler and just play around with it. And usually those aren't layered. They're pretty pretty basic. So I don't have a bass layered in here yet. I do have this, but the bass is usually pretty minimal as well. There'll be usually a sub layered with like a mid or top bass. And uh, it's just kind of, yeah, it just kind of fits this pocket of the drums. Now the drums in this are more of like a chain smokers type drum vibe. I didn't want to do four on the floor in like the last video we did where we looked at how to make like a Moomaton four on the floor style beat with the offbeat percussion. But yeah, it's the same drum samples. If you guys watch that video, it's the same thing, just rearranged. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And as far as mixing goes, um, I, nothing too crazy, nothing too out of the ordinary. Instead of side chaining, just purely side chaining the bass away from the kick, I think it'd be better, better and more beneficial just to duck the frequencies. So maybe use like a, like a multi-band compressor or an uh, equalizer that allows you to duck frequencies. It gets a little bit cleaner vibe because otherwise you're going to lose a lot of bass. But let's listen to this with this bass in here now. Alright guys, so if you have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching this guys. I'll see you next time.